our guest, our star guest today, uh, the inventor of the tadpole swimsuit. Welcome to the show. What's up, Michael? Hey, hey, glad to be here. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. Thank you for making time. You're like one of the first people I reached out to in terms of, you know, inventors in the wild, right? We started this a couple months ago. You're not a bold patents client, but you have an invention and you're excited to you know, bring it to the market. You've been at it for a while. Tell us about what you've invented. Well, before we get started, I don't remember sending you that uh, second to last question like three years ago about what, what to do when you have an idea. So thank you for, for reading my, uh, my question that I didn't even know I sent <laughs> for that person. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so behind me is uh, my, my invention is called the Tadpole Swimsuit. And I'm trying to change the way children learn how to swim because I have two kids of my own. And when my toddler's son jumped in the water with nothing on him to be like his big sister, you know, freaked out for a second and thought there's got to be a better way. And um, there wasn't for what I thought it should be. And then here, here we go, you know. Cool. Well, and can you show it off? Can you, can you kind of pull it off? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, yeah, so no virtual backgrounds here. This is a real, real, real deal. It scares me sometimes when I walk into my studio. Um, <laughs> So right now this is a three-year-old size and I say it takes buoyancy away from just the chest and the arms is what we normally have to work with as parents of young kids. And it spreads across the whole body from ankle to elbow with 24 strategically placed pockets that are modular. So as the child learns how to swim, you can actually start taking the pockets out just one at a time. So just like when we go to the gym to get stronger, you know, we, uh, we take a little bit of the resistance away from the child so they can actually develop their mus muscular strength as long with, along with their uh, flexibility and coordination. Because right. right now, the only option is binary. You know, you, the kid wears it all, their, their water wings, they wear them all summer long, and then at the end of summer, you just take them off. So they go from having full buoyancy to nothing. And that's like, we're just going to deadlift, you know, our body weight and then double it. Like, that doesn't make any sense. So there was no modular cool. really designs out there. And uh, so I created one. Got it. Tell That's us, wild. Uh, I love it, man. It looks great. Yeah, it's very unique. Let me tell you, so have you, in terms Thanks. of like going to market, um, have you had success there? Are you selling some of these? Yeah. I've, um, I started out with a prototype, got the proof of concept working, and I was like, oh, it shouldn't be this easy. But, you know, knock on wood, it is. It's been going really well. And I been selling to you know the friends and the family and and my neighborhood just to kind of get the the word out and tweak the design a little bit because you know it's not perfect right off the bat and through word of mouth i actually got my first commercial client a local pool installation company and this guy's like i've been around this industry my whole life i've never seen anything like it i love it i want to put you know a hundred of them in my stores so I'm working with him right now to get a bunch made up for my three, four, and five-year-olds and uh, get them into his shop. And that's my my current mountain I'm climbing right now is getting uh, bulk manufacturing going. Super Got it. cool. Any idea what you're thinking from a retail perspective, what you're going to retail this at? My goal is retail about 100 bucks. I yeah, was trying to be down in like, the, yeah, I was trying to be down like the $80 range, like trying to keep it affordable. Then like like after COVID and inflation and everything sort of just amplifying, it's been crazy. So if I can keep it around a hundred bucks, I'd be happy with that, which is, you know, it's the cost of a, a full body swimsuit plus flotation and maybe one sw swim lesson. And like, there you go. It's already paid for after that. Yeah. I mean, that's how I justify it in my brain anyways, as a working dad. <laughs> yeah, no, I think especially to, I mean, that looks like it's pretty comfortable for kids to wear more so than like a life vest, you know, or, um, you know, floaties. So I think that'd be really cool for younger kids, especially, right? You know, maybe, you know, if you're someone who's got a pool in your backyard, or you're like me, you got a cabin people go to, um, man, if I had a three or four year old, five year old, even I'd probably have them in that all day, you know, they're running around the, the property. My concept is like, what if learning how to swim was as easy as play? Like as a parent, we take our kids to the playground. We don't give them a full on lesson. Like this is the swing set. These are monkey bars. This is how this works. So that works. You're like, you know, get out of here, kid, go play, you know, burn off that energy. So I created this suit so the little kids could feel confident enough to do what the big kids are doing. You know, they're, they're out there, they're swimming, they're treading, they're going head over heels, bending down, picking stuff up. And that's what my suit does. It gives them the flexibility 
to go in and do whatever they want. Now, it is not a life-saving device in the sense like it's Coast Guard certified or anything like that, sure. which you know I've done a lot of research in because people ask me, oh, they're like, oh, it's like a lifesaver. I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah. You know, it's not set and forget it's it. A, a lifesaver. Swim aid. Yeah. It's a tool. Yeah. It's a tool like anything else, right? Life preservers, man. Like if we're out canoeing, right? If me, Matt, and JD are out, you know, rafting and somebody turns around and hits me with a with the oar and I fall out, you know, it's gonna turn me up and have my airways you know, up to the sky. That's a lifesaver. Mine is meant to let these kids get their full body in the water and then the motion. Cause when they're wearing water wings, all they're doing is treading. They're going, they're like, cause all the, the buoyancy is up here. They're just treading in a forward motion. And then, so when you take them off at the end of the summer, they're still in that position in the water. So they sink like a rock. It doesn't, you know, they're not used to going horizontal and, and swimming across that way, that natural motion. So. Michael, I got to ask you, okay, so you do have a patent on this, correct? Patent pending, I'm working on it. So leading back to that, that question you, you had had, it's like, oh, you know, I'm an inventor. Like I had this idea, what do I do? You can start with the prototypes and get that proof of concept working. So at least know your idea has some legs and that's where it can kind of get, become like a sticky widget. Like, all right, is it worth putting that money into protection? Or, you know, I'd ask myself, I was like, what would it look like if it were easy? And if it were easy, I just, make a Facebook and Instagram and get it, start getting it out there, right? Start selling direct to consumer. What I didn't know, as soon as I did that and published it, the clock starts ticking. So the US government's like, you got one year <laughs> to get your patent and crap in order. So I, I, I filed my paper, paperwork and I got my fingers crossed that everything is gonna be going in as right as rain, but um, who knows? Good. Everything's pending right now and um, we'll find out. Excellent. Yeah, I was going to ask, what's your lessons learned? You're going to tell you know, someone listening today that's just getting started, might have been where you were at a year or two ago. What's that lesson to not, what mistake not to make? What would you pass along? The mistake is getting it out into the public eye a little too early, like look before you leap. Like you mentioned earlier, weigh those pros and cons. If you have an idea that's like in a saturated market and you're just kind of one of a dozen, but you're selling, like that's fine. But what I have done is created something entirely new, which I need to protect myself because it's not like when or if, you know, China or any other company overseas is going to start making knockoffs. It's when it's a matter of time. So the more I can do to protect myself, the, the better I'll be in the long run because, you know, I, I want to take care of my kids and send them off to good schools and all that stuff and be like any other parent, you know, who wants a good future for their Mexican. <laughs> Can I give them your email address for them to reach out and ask questions and say, hey, what's it like? What are you doing? You know, as you're getting this product out the door. Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So my, my main email for this is tadpole swimsuit at Gmail. And if you want to find me, find me on LinkedIn. That's where I love all business stuff. Besides doing this, um, you can't tell I kind of in a professional setup. I've been a professional photographer and cinematographer for over 20 years. I was a combat photographer in the Marine Corps. And I, I, I just love business in general. Right. So I, I, Besides doing this, I've had my so many irons in the fire. You know what I mean? So I'll talk shop with anybody who wants to and, and bounce ideas off each other. It's a lot of fun. Awesome. For me. 